This is KNEV.TV Weather from the KNEV Storm Center, your trusted source for weather. Partly cloudy skies to start off this evening. We'll turn cloudy overnight, and I think we'll see an off and on shower or two. Not going to see a ton of them, but can't rule out a shower or storm around tonight through early tomorrow, and then things are going to clear off. Now, tomorrow is going to be cooler than where we were today and where we've certainly been the last several days, but we're heading back there starting Wednesday. We're going to warm right back up. 85 yesterday for a high after a morning low of 56 at 85, still above normal for this time of year. Not above normal is our precip. We're already half of what we should have for the month of September and closing in now on three inches short for the year. I say not as warm as where we have been. We've had some days here to start September, a few warmer, a couple cooler, bounced around a little bit. Then starting really last week, other than Tuesday, the 7th, where we were right about normal, we've had above normal temperatures every single day. This 100 here on the 10th, that set a record. And on Saturday, the 11th, that 98 also set a record high in Scotts Bluff. Now we're not going to be back to record setting high temps, but we're certainly going to be closer to those numbers and where we're going to be tomorrow for the rest of the week. 83 right now in Scotts Bluff, 86 in Sterling. Look at that 60 up in Watertown. That is the cooler air. It's going to make its way down in here tomorrow, I think, and we're going to have a cooler day with these 70s prevalent in our region as opposed to some of the low 80s that are out here right now. Winds have been a little stout at times, 10 to 15 miles an hour, making it feel a little cooler. You can see where this frontal system is, and that's where the severe weather threat is the highest in portions of the northeast and up through portions of southeastern South Dakota. Here in our area, we're dealing with a marginal risk of severe storms really all across the Cornusker State back into southeastern portions of Wyoming. We push that further to the south tomorrow and then completely away from the area on Wednesday. Let's take a look at our bus stop forecast. A little soggy when you get on the bus tomorrow, a few showers around about 54. On the way home, we're going to call it 73 degrees with partly cloudy skies. Really a pretty nice uh, day tomorrow once we get some of those morning showers out of here. Showers are going to be better concentrated early tonight in the southern panhandle. Tomorrow we bring, or overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning, we bring the better chances of rain maybe in the northern portions of the region. Lows are going to fall in the upper 40s and low 50s here across the region. Again, tomorrow we watch some of those showers early they push out of here and by lunchtime we're dealing with clearing skies and really all in all a pretty nice rest of the day tomorrow and we're going to see temperatures tomorrow only get into the 70s very comfortable out here how about 76 in scotts bluff 75 in kimball and in sydney uh, 77 in valentine so pretty comfortable temperatures and precip going to be limited a few hundreds maybe up to a quarter of an inch if you get under some of the heavier showers most of us uh, not going to get much to measure here over the next couple of days. 53 are low tonight with a few clouds. A shower or storm can't be ruled out. Same thing tomorrow, 77 for your expected high. And then as we take a look at our seven day forecast, boy, things look much warmer as we start Monday or Wednesday and into Thursday. We jump out of those 70s right back into the low 90s. A little cooler on Friday behind a system, maybe in the mid 80s, back into the 90s for Saturday and Sunday. Another hot weekend coming our way. And Really after tomorrow, very little, if any, chance of moisture.